and just like that, we got it. Oh boy, look at that thing there, y'all. There we go, oh yeah, nice, nice fish. There we go, solid filet. And just like that, he just turned and nailed it. Still a nice looking little fish. Let's go get them. Good morning. One of the things that I'm gonna try to cover today is, is why do I fish where I fish? With the rain that we've been having, this lake has a couple rivers and a couple creeks that feeds it. And uh, when, the, when it rains and they're letting water out of the dam, the current can be a big factor. Crappie do not like current. They don't like it at all. And it, you don't need electronics for this. This is just using your eyes. If you open your eyes and, and look, just look at the little debris that's on the little leaves and little stuff that's on the water. See if there's current. Go from there. If you find an area that you want to start in and just make sure that it don't have current. One real important thing that will help you get on, get on crappie. And if it does, look for those eddies. Look for the eddies that are uh, uh, in that area. And you usually find those in bins. Uh, if there's a point sticking out behind that point, you know, downstream from that point, will usually have an eddy. And, and you know, usually you'll see that because the water sort of circles around in that. And uh, it's not a bad thing to fish when there's current. There are rules to it. You just have to know where to go, where those fish are gonna congregate so they don't have to battle that current. It's very important to do that. That's, that's a tip that's, uh, that, that don't get talked about a lot, but I'm telling you, it's a it's an awesome tip, and you don't need any electronics to see that. It's, it's something you can see with your naked eye. Hold that thought, and we're gonna find some nice crappie today, see if we can't get some good footage for you guys. Let's make it happen. So there's a, a, a tree that's right here, and uh, it has a few fish, and we got pretty much a almost a bluebird sky today that's, uh, I'm more than likely have these fish tucked in and, and under a lot of the structure that that we're going to be looking at uh or dug in on the mud in the mud and uh we're going to see if we can't work all jig off in here Look like there's a few fish in here and uh we're going to see if we can't work that limits tackle jig right in here you see my jig coming down right there and i'll circle circle what i'm looking at as as uh as what i think is is crappie down there i don't know if i'm gonna be able to work this jig in there without getting snagged up because they're they're down there up under two limbs two different limbs but we're gonna see if we can work it in there we're gonna see if we can't work it in there they're dug in deep down there and, and like I, I, I say in several of my videos, when you're fishing uh, deep in the cover like this, you want to be sure that you're watching that. Oh, he pecked it. He pecked it. Let's get it back in there and see if we can get him to commit again. Yeah, I'm bouncing off limbs. Man. All right, let's go up to this other part. Look like they may be, yeah, he's still gonna be up under two different branches. Look like some smaller fish though. Maybe smaller fish. You always wanna watch and watch that jig go down there because if not, you're gonna get snagged up. So important to uh, watch that jig fall through and, and, and you can tell if you sit on top of a limb, yeah, that's kind of thick right there, y'all. I'm on. I'm gonna lose my bait if I try that. It's a really good fish right there, though. Yeah, we're gonna get over some, get in some, some, some little bit less dense uh, structure. All right, so we got a couple fish on my kind of structure sitting right here. Drop that jig down there and see if we can't entice him. And just like that, he just turned and nailed it. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put up a good fight then there, buddy. Oh, something attacked this joker. Something had a hold to him. Something had a hold to this guy. He must have been up there. Been up there kind of shallow. Something had a hold to him. Still a nice looking little fish. But uh something's grabbed a hold to the backside of him. We're gonna let him get healed up. Nice little fish though. Be a nice fillet. Alright. Another one. He's a little closer to the bank over here. There's a couple of them right there. I don't like no giant fish, but hey, thump in the pool is a thump in the pool. Decent little fish. See how he reacts. They are tucked in tight this morning. Got to have have that boat control. It's amazing how. Look at that little joker. <laughs> little old bitty dude is up there. More like a little white bass. One thing that I do is uh, try not to let my my jig splash in the water. That joker's right there up under that limb. Well, he he turned. Oh, <laughs> he darted at it. He darted at it. Let's see if he'll go for it again. See if I can light him up. He's he's holding really tight to that little branch that's sticking up right there. That little thumbnail that's sticking up. Uh oh, did he give it up? Did he take off? I think he said that that little jig could have it. But it's like I say all the time, man. You know, you, you see these fish, you get that jig there, you get a good reaction, but it still don't mean that you're going to catch them all. You're just not going to catch them all. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people think you can get live scope and it's a, a, a sand net that go down there. A sane net that go down there and, and, and just rake all the fish in, but it's not like that. You know, it's still you still have to go down there and catch that fish. But uh hey. I enjoy I enjoy fishing with it. I don't have to have to come out and catch fish, but hey, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. As long as it's legal. I like the challenge that, that it, it brings. So all I'm doing is just uh, staying on the move, uh, not really caring about sitting on one little spot, just staying on the move and uh, scanning, looking for that, looking for that that magic little stick up that that uh, they they're going to enjoy being on. And I'm just scanning from you know eight anywhere from about eight foot of water out to twelve. I'm on a pretty steep uh, bank that's right here, but uh. I found that here here lately, eight to twelve feet of water is, is what they're preferring. Lots of structure. I mean a ton of structure in this lake. I always hear people saying that uh because they don't see the structure with their naked eye. I like to decent fish sitting up top right there. Let me get a slow down. Really good looking fish sitting up there. Oh, that may be a catfish. No, oh, that's a catfish, y'all. That's a big old catfish. Right there. See him turning? Catfish or carp or... It'd be a fun fight. That's not what we're out here to catch today. We're out here after some fine crappie. Best freshwater best eating freshwater fish there is. There's like a lot of catfish in this thing. Even these smaller fish look like cats. Can I make him eat it? Nope. Turn away from it. 
but a catfish are, are occupying that that piece of structure so we're gonna just tip on keep on on the move and and it's taken me a little while to to, to uh and sometimes you still get it get it confused as, as to what what species you're dropping on just depends on uh what type of structure they're sitting on and what type of view you got of them There's one sitting right here on a little bitty stick up, possibly a crappie. See if I can get him lit up. Oh no, that's like another big old carp or... I'm gonna be in the wrong area. Look at that big old thing. Big old cat. I'm in the wrong area today, you guys. They're over here on the hunt. They're all moving. But uh, we we gonna move too. We just gonna stay on the move till we find what we're looking for. And uh, you know, it's, I, I've been saying that for years, even before live scope, how important it is to uh, you know, if you're not you're not on the fish that that uh that you're you're looking for, moving is very important. Uh, it it helps me stay consistent without a doubt. It is work, uh, uh, and I know. I have always been one to tip, you know, I'm going to tell you, it's work coming out here. Uh, a lot of times you can come out, some of the times, I'm not going to say a lot of times, sometimes you can come out and it's, it's really easy. But uh, most of the time you got to come out here and, and, and uh, put that work in. Even if you don't catch anything, I mean, listen at the birds. Listen, listen at, and it's, I'm on a late morning trip. Uh, it's uh, right at 10 o'clock now, I'm probably on the water, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. And uh, just to get out, nice, beautiful morning, birds singing, chirping everywhere, and uh, enjoy a day on the water. Yeah, I had a trip scheduled for today, but uh, my client said that he wanted a little bit more stable weather, and I totally understand that. Uh, but at the same time, I feel that I can come out here uh, and uh, it, it takes work like it means just about always takes work and just get out here and, and uh, do you put you know put that time in searching and you're gonna find a, a good you know a good bag of fish a like a fish there but kind of small and we're gonna, we're gonna stop and see if we can't catch it need a crappie in my life right now I don't want to make a video just out here talking, even though some people may may enjoy that. Uh, but still got my still got my uh, helm feature going, so that's a decent little fish. It have stopped. Said jig almost on top of it. He's on the move though. dive down in that structure come on and there he goes it's not a big one not a big one at all but it's two smaller fish really close together and that makes it makes it look like a big fish but this is a small one and they're they're not all big it's always good to see smaller fish that's the years to come catches right there of good quality fish there's two of them, two small fish together. It made it look like a, a, a good fish. All right, look like I've stumbled upon a couple of fish hanging on a little stick up right here. About 11 foot of water. Let's see if I can get positioned on them. Make a, make a good drop. They may not have liked me backing up over them. They didn't, man, they're still there. Just hiding behind that little little stick up right there. I like a better one that's in it. 
maybe. So here, let's go ahead and get this one. See if he can get this one. Come on, come on. Nope. some fish oh yeah he just barely nipped that bait barely got him in his lip barely got him in his lip quality fish definitely a good quality solid solid fillet bam you knew that was coming did you i'm a mad fish counter i'm gonna try to keep up today so let's hunt down the next fish all righty another one right here see if we can't drop down on him and entice him he's in there kind of deep come on come on come on down in there. Try to get it back in his face. Let him reposition. Let him think he has the advantage. And this time I'm going to put it in his face and just leave it there. Set down on the bottom over there. And there we go. That's a good fish. It's a better fish right there. Oh yeah. Had to agitate him into biting. Oh yeah, that's a good fish there. Oh yeah! Oh, swing him in! Oh yeah! This may be a this may be a two pound fish. Uh, we gonna weigh it. If it if it makes two pounds, we gonna let it make it. We out here for some fillets. Just a solid, solid, solid fish. Solid fish. We gonna weigh that fish. Let's take a let's get a measurement on it. All right. Like a fourteen and a half inches long. 14 and a half inches long. Looks a lot bigger than that. We're zeroed out. Right at two, 194, 194. Get that thing locked in, 194. You're more than likely, these, these uh, Rapala scales, uh, could be so much better. See what old Lake Houston turns out. Bam! Gonna let her swim, y'all. Y'all wanna see her go? Y'all wanna see her go? It's a big girl, she's full of eggs. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right, let's see if we can find another one. Guys, I try to give you real info of stuff that I do out here. And as some of you know, I am a full-time guide down here in the Houston, Texas area, fishing uh, Lake Houston and Lake Conroe. Lake Houston is my main lake. Lake Conroe is my second lake. Uh, I got on both. And uh, if you wanna get out here, hey, hit me up. Uh, I'll put my info, my contact info right here. I posted throughout the video. This is a piece of what you'll get, but hands-on is a thousand times better. Book a trip with me. Come on down here to the Houston area and, and uh, spend the day on the water with me and uh, if you have live scope you will be able to get on your boat and have a better idea 
of how to be target specific for cropping and uh, the size crappie you want and you get the information that you need i use my lvs 32 on my troll motor and that helps me get right there on that fish it's target specific i'm gonna get up there to that fish i'm gonna control my boat boat control is the ticket it is work but it's what i do it's the best way to do it and uh come on out here and i'll show you uh give you the uh the ins and outs on how to make this thing work and on top of that you, you get a nice sack of fish i fillet and bag your fish come on down and uh let's let's make it happen all right so we got a few fish tucked in really really tight on this this uh pretty thick piece of structure right here so we're gonna see if we can't work all jigs in there and uh get get a few of them out of there there's a fish there look like a small oh yes yeah, decent fish he's running Hold up, let me feed you a jig real quick they're, they're active on this little piece of structure here let me get a slow down Quite a few fish on this this piece of structure. When they get in there thick on this thick stuff, man, it, it can it can be difficult to uh, one get your jig. At first, you got to be able to see them, and then to be able to work your jig in it. Sometimes it can be difficult. You may not have liked me passing over that pile. Look like they ducked into it a little bit. We gonna try to. I don't know if that's one up under that limb right there. It possibly could be. A little bright spot down there. Let's see if we can get a little action out of it. Giving a little, little uh, shake to my jig. Looking for, looking for it to stand up. That may be a, that's going to be a fish right there, y'all. I think that's going to be a fish. I can't tell the size of it, but wouldn't bet that's going to be a fish. Come on, come on, right in your face. Maybe not. Definitely looks like one. Maybe not. Okay. On to the next. It may be just a hard return off a hard piece of that structure. And you see a lot of that. I mean, it's just that, you know, it didn't cost me anything to drop that jig down there, get it close, give it a little action, look for a, a, a you know, little motion out of it, but never did get it. I think that's a fish. Right up top, right there. And there we go. Small fish, but you know, it's like I always say, when they're when they're on that structure, oh, right off in the boat. When they're on that structure, it's really tough to the you know to decipher a, 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 a good fish. But hey, a little nine and a half, maybe 10 inch fish. Back in the drink. Let's see if we can find something a little bigger. Seem like they're uh, referring to bigger pieces of structure today. I really do like finding them on the smaller stuff because it's just uh, a lot easier to catch them. Look like it's gonna be a, a warm day today. I'm gonna have to come out of this jacket here in a little bit. And we've had some really cool mornings. I think it was like 42 degrees this morning. This really warmed up. Let's see if we can dissect this big old pile. I've seen a couple fish from a different angle. Let's see if we can spot them. Find a, 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 a fish we can drop on without getting all snagged up. On those clear sky days, they uh they'll get tucked in that in that structure because they don't really like light. Is that a big old catfish? Yeah, big old catfish right there. Really didn't see what I thought I was gonna see on that big pile. So we're gonna just ease on to the next one. It's all about the hunt, all about the hunt. Like I said, a few fish off in this little pile. It was bagged up a little bit. They are really, really tight to the structure this morning. Really tight. Don't make for a good video because most people want to see that fish and see that jig go to it. And I 
Just seen a good one pull out of it. Let's see if we can get one out of here. I like painting. While I'm coming up to it, I like painting, painting around the structure. Really get that fish bright. Oh, that choker there took it, y'all. I was thinking that there was one uh, a big fish. I think it was a few small ones together. Went a little bit too fast. That wind's starting to really pick up now. See if we can't let the wind push us back and get on one of those fish right there. As you can see, I'm drawing way back on my, with my rod. Yeah, they went deeper in there. There we go. Nice little fish. You'll keep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The ones we're looking for, 11 inches. Turn out a really good fillet. Oh yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another piece of structure right here. Put back back up to it. Couple of little fish that I'm seeing. Hopefully they don't dive in. Here lately it seems like uh when I back up they're uh taking off. That one hell. Let me get us stopped. See if we can entice him. I think he's hooked in the right spot though y'all i think he's hooked in the right spot let's see if we can swing that thing in oh yeah that's gonna be a good filet there she's stuffed with eggs but she'll be a filet -er. oh yeah nice nice fish oh yeah oh slab there y'all look at that gut down there I, I, you know a lot of people don't want to keep the females but that's a nice fish to keep right there that's a nice one to keep be an awesome day out here. Wind's picking up a little bit, but but it's not bad. More the fish and see if we can drop down on him, entice him right by him. Oh, he coming! He coming! He coming! Got his attention. Come on, there you go, buddy. Perfect, perfect. Uh, fish. They usually don't chase that bait. They usually got to get in their face and come on in here. Oh, I wish I could show y'all that good splash, that good bite. Another solid, solid fish. Perfect for layer. Just an awesome, awesome, awesome fish. Bam! And that's being versatile. Uh, a lot of these fish, you know, I've been finding fish deep into the brush piles and finding some on top of the brush piles. Uh, found a, 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 a caught a really good fish on a stick up and a lot of the other ones are on bigger structure so when you when you come out just be versatile uh and it's what i do i, I use my, my my live scope and i'm I, I hunt the fish i'm not hunting a spot and right now i'm still recording i got my neck i got another target that's in open water and being versatile open water small structure big structure deep in the structure on top of the structure i mean it's just being versatile and you end up with nice fish like that bam came up on this fish really really quick <laughs> i started my active captain but i didn't have time to uh didn't have time to start my camera but bam 
Oh yeah, just old solid, solid fish. Another nice fillet, 13, 13 and a half inch fish, pound and a half. Oh Got yeah. this pile right here though. Got a good fish right there. Away. Got a little bit more line. Come on, come on, there we go. Another open water fish you got. Oh, that's one of the bad things right there about uh, being out of position. I mean, I had to really draw back on that fish. He was swimming towards me. And I didn't get a good hook set. Ain't that something? That's okay. There's gonna be plenty more. A piece of structure here again. Still some good fish in it. Battle this wind to get in position. And we're gonna drop down there on, on, on a fish if we can spot him. Look like one right there at the top. That jumper darted out of there and hit it. Little bitty guy. Little bitty guy. But, uh, hey, thump in the pool is a thump in the pool. We're going to see if we can't drop back in here and get on a good one. Need a good one. And they're holding really tight to this structure. Making it really difficult to pinpoint the good ones. There's a little bit of movement. There we go. Oh, he missed it. He darted at it. There you go, baby. There you go. He came out and got it, y'all. Not a fine. 11 inch fish, nice box fish, nice filet. That's the ones we're looking for today, and she, she plump with eggs too. Nice 11 inch fish. Oh, yeah. Bam! Right there, y'all. That's what I've been looking for right there. And just like that, we got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Oh. That's what we've been out here searching for. Mm, mm, mm. Come on one out of there, Jig. Oh boy. Look at that thing there, y'all. That's a nice one there. Over oh, a little deeper. Well, it's still about 11 foot of water, 11, 12 foot of water. Yeah, she really glowed. She glowed big time. Out here looking for these open water fish. I always run my uh, run my gain a little bit hotter. So you can see that little fizz in there. But I'm not trying to, to uh, no, no, they took off. They took off. They're not liking that trolling motor. We're in a little windy condition. That's not bad wind, but it's, it's enough to where I'm having to run my trolling motor hotter than, than uh, what I like to. Another good fish right there. Oh yeah, see that big old glowing dot right there? Let's see if we can get that one in the boat. Let's see if we can put our hands on that one. Slow my troll motor down just a tad bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good fish. Decent. 
fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Come on, girl. I know you want to eat. And she just turned and nailed it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Another good fish, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on in here. Pound 30, pound 40 maybe. Solid, solid fish. Really good fish. Bam! I know y'all can hear that little slap on the water too. And uh, that makes a difference too on getting on these fish without spooking them. They hadn't, I hadn't been running a bunch of fish off. But uh, it makes a difference. Had a little, little bitty something. Pick my jig right there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a decent fish. Oh, it's still two together. And just like that, another slap and another slab hooked up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on in here. Really nice fish. Really nice fish, you guys. I mean just good good fillets. Really nice fillets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. She's sagging too. <laughs> She's sagging. And we ain't steady picking up. It's easy. Easy on up there. A little old bitty stick up right here. Got a few fish. Let's see if we can pluck pluck one or two off. Go in and try to pick up on us, y'all. Make a couple moves. Fish still biting good though. Mm. Took it from him. Y'all need to wake up. There we go. Came out of there. Joke, they're running. You didn't like that hook. You running good. Nice little fish. Nice little uh oh, black crappie. First black crappie of the day. I don't know why I was fighting so good. Nice little black crappie. First little black of the day, nice and 12, 11 and a half, 12 inches, maybe 12 and a half. Nice little fish. And Tyson's other one is down there. dug in a little bit deeper see if we can get a reaction out of him get down there and get in his face come on Had to leave it in his face. Just had to leave it in his face. Put it in his face and leave it there. Yeah. Come on in here. That top one was a black crappie. This one was a white crappie. They hang out right there together. They hang out right there together. Nice and bite. Like we got a couple little stick ups here. I have a couple of decent fish on it. We're gonna swing around and get a better look. Come on. There 
go. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah. We'll fight then. We'll fight. They're feisty over here. Come on in here there, big girl. Big girl. Come on in here. Oh yeah. Nice and nice and oh yeah. Bam! Got a nice little old suspended fish here. See if we can entice, sneak up on him and entice him. A couple of nice ones. One really nice one. Two of them swimming, maybe white bass, but I'm looking at that one that's just sitting there. Look like he's gonna be a decent little fish. Gonna sneak up there on him. And just like that, he nailed it. <laughs> he nailed it. He nailed it. Get him fighting down there. He's putting up a good fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got good. That's why he's fighting so hard. I got good. <laughs> he's sitting there looking just like old crappy. Old goo. Got a couple more sitting up right here. Let's see if we can drop on them. Ease up there on them. Just like that. That's crap. Come on in here. Nice for layer, nice for layer. Oh yeah. Really nice for layer. Don't let it roll. Going to live. Nice. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Bam. Go for that big dot over there. See if we can get on that big dot. He trying to lead a pile. We're gonna drop on his head before we do. Come on. Oh. See if he'll bite again. He did. He did it right that time. He did it right that time. Oh yeah, come on in here that bar. Come on in here that bar. Oh yeah, nice and nice box fish. Oh yeah.
Got a nice one up top right there. We gonna see if we can't catch him. He got the top perch. So he should be looking for something to eat. Come on, come on. And just like that, he said he was hungry. He said he was hungry. Oh yeah, nice fish too. Come on in here, that gal. Oh, she's stuffed with eggs, y'all. She is stuffed with eggs. Woo! That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Bam! Oh yeah. We're gonna let her swim. We're gonna let her swim. Thank you, baby. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.